Hello and welcome to our video on the Amon Embedded Prop Controller. This is a very unique prop controller. It's got no buttons on the controller, just a status LED. And it is meant to be embedded in costumes or tight spaces, so costumes or handheld props. It's got a solid state output and can be run on 9 through 12 volts. The controller, since it has no physical buttons, is programmed with an external programmer. This has a button for power and a button for action, and it's just hooked up to the controller there and add power for programming. Now, since this is a small prop controller meant to go in tight spaces, it doesn't work with most sensors. In fact, this controller is triggered by turning on the power. So it's meant to be run through a switch that controls the positive or negative going to the controller and it will begin playing when turned on. So it's not meant to stay on for long periods of time and wait to be triggered. It is triggered by just powering it on. So what we've done here is we've hooked it up to the programmer. Black is negative, yellow is Y, red is positive. That's also in the user manual. And then we've hooked the output up to an LED. Now, like the Lux Micro, red is output positive, blue is output negative. Now, when we connect this programmer up to power, nothing's going to happen. The controller is not on until you hold this power button. Now programming is simple. You're going to hold the action button and then hold the power button. And that's going to turn the controller on. And once it's on, when you let go of action, it's going to start recording. And then you're going to press action as many times as you want, up to two minutes. And pressing action is going to turn on the output. So if we hold action, Hold power, it'll turn on, let go, now we're recording. Pushing action turns on the output. To stop recording, just let go of the power button. And that'll save your animation. Now, as we said before, it doesn't work with sensors. It works by powering on. So if we hold power, it's going to turn on and start playing our animation just as we recorded it. And again, letting go of power turns off the controller. And now, if you notice, as you hold power, it will continuously play that animation. If you only want it to play once when powered on, you can hold action, hold power, wait about 10 seconds until the LED changes color, and then let go of power. And you've now put the controller in no loop mode. So when you hold it or turn it on, it'll play the animation once and then wait to be turned off. And it won't play again until it's turned off and back on. Now we just have the LED hooked up here, but this output is capable of four amps. So that can run solenoids, horns, LEDs, a very wide variety of things as long as they run on the voltage you're powering it with. So that's 9 or 12 volts. Now here's an example of what the embedded might look like actually. Uh, what we've got over here is just a simple DC power supply to screw terminal and we have a button controlling the negative and the positives just hook directly up so when we press this button power will be connected to the controller and it'll turn on and play our animation and again the output that can be anything horns solenoids or leds now since this is meant to be programmed one time and then put in place we highly highly recommend before you install it, trimming the yellow wire. The yellow wire is used for programming, 
So if this were to touch the negative terminal at all, you could potentially accidentally reprogram the controller. This can be trimmed all the way back if you're never going to reprogram it again. So as we said before, right now we have the controller in no loop mode. So if we hold it, it'll turn on and play our recorded animation and then stop until we turn it off and then back on. So normally you probably want something a little more secure, especially if this is going to be in something very portable. So you can pow you can solder to these wires, wire nut them, wago them, or just connect them directly up to a switch if that's what works best for you. Thank you for watching. That is all you need to know about the Amon Embedded.